Okay, we are working with canned cinnamon rolls. We've got two cans of apple pie filling. We're gonna need some butter, melted butter for the topping, and you'll need some crushed graham cracker um, crumbs and a muffin tin. And I'm going to put the exact amount you will need underneath along with the um, original recipes link. I found this on Pinterest and um, you know I've not been doing so good with Pinterest lately so I'm gonna cross my fingers. This seems so simple and there's only one, two, three, what, four ingredients. Come on guys, this has got to work out for me today. But I'm gonna leave all the information that you need down below in the description box. It will be below the video here on YouTube. All right, we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven and get started. And you'll need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And they're not gonna take long to bake at all, which is perfect for me because we've got to leave in 30 minutes. All right, let's get started. Okay, now once you have opened up your cinnamon rolls, the recipe says that you are to flatten each cinnamon roll. Um, if you're fancy, I guess you can use a rolling pin. And if you're a mom of four with uh, children that like to get into your utensils and steal your utensils to use them as weapons, you'll have to use your hands. So I'm just going to flatten them just like you would like a pizza crust if you're making a homemade pizza, which I don't, but that's how I imagine they make pizza like this. All right, anyways, you're gonna wanna flatten it, and then we're going to put it in our muffin tin, just like a cupcake liner. I'm gonna put mine right here. You see I've already got the rest ready, so I'm just gonna press it down and then maybe pinch along the sides where it looks like a little cupcake cup without a black can't even talk a cupcake liner and that's all you do and now we are going to fill each of our tins with some of the apple pie filling and it didn't really say how much but you know, these are kind of big chunks so I guess just Use your better judgment. I'm going to put like two in each. And we'll need to fill all of your um, muffin tin spots. Okay, now we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 for exactly six minutes. Okay, and the recipe says while you're waiting on your apple muffins to cook, you're gonna go ahead and make that crumb topping and this is one cup of crushed graham crackers and I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of melted butter and then we're gonna stir that up where it's really good and crumbly. And this is gonna go on top of our apple muffins once they are out of the oven. Okay, now I just took them out of the oven. They're not quite done, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our um, graham cracker crumb mixture to the top of each one. And then we are going to put them back in the oven for a few more minutes. So go ahead and add your crumb mixture on top. And I'm making a mess. And um, then we'll put them back in there and let them finish cooking. Oh, it smells heavenly though. The cinnamon and the apple, yummy. Now they need to go back into the oven at 350 for another six minutes. Okay, quite possibly my favorite part of the whole recipe is going to be the icing and your cinnamon rolls came with containers of this yummy gooey just awesome sauce and um, we're going to add this on top of our apple muffins once they come out of the oven and they're all warm this is going to melt right on top and then we're going to eat them but save your icing 
which, you know, I'm pretty sure you knew that anyways, but yes, this is what we're going to do next. Okay, and if you listen really, really closely, you might can hear the bubbling sound of your apples. Okay, maybe you can't hear it, but it sounds awesome, and it looks awesome, and it smells divine. All right, they've just came out of the oven. Now we're going to take our yummy, awesome sauce, and we're going to put it right on top. And then that's it. We're going to devour each one of these little gooey, good, yummy treats. Yes, yes I am. I'm going to take one. And thank goodness they're in little individual tins because um, I don't have to worry about taking a slice out of a cake or anything. I can actually taste them before somebody else tastes them. And I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, let's add the sauce. Okay, and what I do to my icing, I just put it in the microwave for a good 10 seconds and it melts it and then you can just pour it. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to pour it delicately on our muffins. And it's going to melt. Oh my goodness, guys. Ah, I'm so excited. Look at that. I wish y'all were here so you could smell it but not taste it because I'm not going to share. Okay, I am going to share. Okay, guys, my opinion, awesome. I love it. These would make one awesome breakfast or, I mean, just any cold day you need something warm this is it this is definitely comfort food and um, I think everyone's going to enjoy these but um, don't forget to check down below and get the original link and make these because not only are they easy awesome it's just unique and different and I like it and I'm definitely going to repin it alright guys that's it for today I hope you guys enjoy this and go try it go run